Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you enjoy watching adorable guinea pigs, learning how to care for them, seeing product hauls or reviews, and anything else guinea pig related, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell to never miss a video. Hello piggy people! So today's video I wanted to do something a bit different. I want to go through with you a whole pile of pig supplies that I have accumulated within the last couple months. So let's start off with this cage that you see in front. So the brand is Preview. I found this on Amazon. I was researching travel cages. I wanted something that was a little more compact and sturdy and convenient to take the pigs back and forth to the vet who need to stay there. So some of the pigs lately have had procedures done where they get to stay at the vet. And I always felt like I didn't have anything that great to have haste, their water attached to, etc. So I found this cage and it's sad that this is classed as a cage for guinea pigs. It's perfect for traveling or for a medical cage. So the thing that sold me on it was you're going to see inside on the left there, there's a little rack that sits slanted in the base where you can actually put hay in. So if I have a liner in the main part, I can stuff hay down there. And I've purchased a small water bottle. It's only the four ounce size. Usually I have the 16 ounce in their cage. So I bought a four ounce water bottle from Amazon that hasn't shown up yet, but I'm gonna use it with this cage for their traveling. So it'll be perfect if Velvet has to go get her dentals done at the vet. She can stay in this cozy cage. There's hay, there'll be water and it's sturdy and safe for the vets to pick up and put down. So yeah, there's... Is that gonna focus? So there you go, that was the brand that I picked out. So the next two items that we have here are critical care. So I just got back into using critical care. I was solely using the Sherwood recovery food, but I picked this up from my vet. It's the apple banana one. And it's been nice. I've been mixing the two actually together when I've been doing hand feeding because there's some ingredients in here that are nice that aren't in the Sherwood. So I don't know. I just thought it was good. It is expensive for this little teeny tiny bag. I think this was like almost $30 with the tax, which seems outrageous. But what can you do when you need to hand feed your pigs? So the apple banana smells really nice. And so this is the Sherwood emergency kit. So in here you get a syringe for feeding. And this one comes with some packets of their Appetite Restore. So I will read the ingredients on the back of the bag in a second. And it comes with their recovery food packets that are all pre-portioned out. So the Appetite Restore has glucose, banana, potassium, vitamin C, vitamin B complex, and some other things. All for stimulating their appetite and if they're dehydrated I imagine it helps with some electrolytes. So it's kind of handy having both of these little kits on hand for emergencies. So next are some food supplements toys slash treat things. So if you guys watched one of our last videos, I'll, I have mentioned I switched to the Oxbow Garden Select guinea pig food. This uh, comes in this size with just four pound and eight pound bags. So I've had to ask pet stores if they'll order the eight pound in because all I can find is the fours on the shelf. And we're gonna go through it fairly decently quick. So I'm gonna be getting the eight next time. All of the guinea pigs have switched over to it easily and seem to really be enjoying it. And the pigs who never really ate a lot of pellets before are eating a bit more now, so I'm happy. And everybody's poops look fine, so I'm happy with that. I picked up the Natural Science Oxbow Vitamin C tablets when Annabelle was going through with her foot issues to give her some more vitamin C. I've almost used up one bag already and the trio, well at the trio at the time, each of them all enjoyed it. So I have that on hand for extra vitamin C. 
So this bag of four pound Garden Select was $17.99 here in Canada plus tax. And these vitamin C were $12.49 plus tax, which seems expensive. Everything seems expensive. And then I also have on hand the Sherwood Urinary Support tabs. I like to have those. I give them to the pigs whenever I feel like it, it has uh, some extra vitamin C in it among other things like vitamin B and cranberry. So they enjoy it as a treat and if it does anything that's awesome. And the other two things I picked up were these Timothy hay carrots just for something fun for them to chew on. Good for their teeth and some stimulation and hey, 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 hey never hurts. So I got these off of Amazon. These were in pet stores and this was from Fresh Hay Canada along with that other recovery food kit I showed you earlier that was from Fresh Hay Canada. The link for that will be down below. So the last set of items that I picked up are all things you're going to find in the drugstore. So we have our oval gas drops which I've mentioned so many times. I use that if they're gassy after they've woken up from a surgery or procedure because I find they tend to have a bit of gas in them. And also after I finish a course of antibiotics, once you stop the antibiotics, sometimes I find their gut floor goes a bit weird and they can get gassy. So I give them for the next couple days and find it has helped greatly. Reese was one pig who after antibiotics always gets bloated. So I make sure I give her this and we stop from getting bloated. The next is saline. So I have used a lot of this. There's the other side. For Reese, uh, when I was flushing out her abscess and cleaning her abscess, I used this and that's all I used. She was obviously on pain meds and oral antibiotics, but in her wound, this was the only thing I used and it worked excellent. And then, oh, and then just to say also for this, I use it to flush out their eyes, say if they had like a hair or a piece of hay in their eye, works great for that. Pedialyte. Um, I'm going to try and find the one that is unflavored, but this was all I could find when I needed it. So this is to restore electrolytes, so if you were having, or your pig was having, like mushy or diarrhea type poop, or if they haven't been eating and drinking properly. So this was picked up back when Angus was having a problem to give him some extra electrolytes because he couldn't seem to stay hydrated. But it's something that could be handy for other pigs as well if you needed it. And then I pick up these little cotton round pads. I've used a ton of these to... If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!